Hello everyone, it's me, Senior Pablo. Some of some of you guys are asking me how to simplify their final answer in solving extracting the square roots, factoring, and factoring general trinomials or factoring perfect square trinomials. So let's have a short recap about our previous lessons. So how to simplify if the given is x squared is equal to 12. Okay. One of our viewers asked this question. So we know that we need to eliminate the square. So to eliminate the square, we need to get the square root. Square, square root or extract the square root of the left side of the equation and also the right side of the equation. So it will become x because square root and square will be cancelled out. The remaining expression on the right side is square root of 12. Now, 12 is not a perfect square. So all I need to do is to copy the square root, then find a number that is a factor of 12. That is a perfect square. So factor of 12 that is a perfect square is 4 times 3. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12. Other factors are 12 times 1. 1 is a perfect number, but we did not choose 1 because it has a higher number than a factor, which is 4. 6 times 2. 6 and 2 are the perfect square numbers. That's why we didn't pick 6 and 2. The perfect factor is 4 times 3. And our final answer will be, oh, let's write plus minus, plus minus x is equal to positive negative e square root of 4 that is 2 what will happen to 3 okay copy the square root then write 3 this will be our final answer positive negative 2 square root of 3 another question from yet boy Y E E T B O I. His question is 3y minus 2 raised to 2 is equal to 18. Okay. 3y minus 2 raised to 2 is equal to 18. Our first step we need to eliminate the square, so we need to extract the square root. Cancel, cancel. Now we have 3y minus 2 is equal to copy square root of 18. Again, 18 is not a perfect square number. So we need to determine the highest perfect square number that is a factor of 18. So that is factors are 9 times 2. We choose 9 because 9 is a perfect square number. Take note of that. Now we have 3y minus 2 is equal to, well, let's write positive negative, positive negative, positive negative, the square root of 9, that is 3, then copy square root of 2. Okay, this is now is in simplified form. We need to find y, so let us use the addition property or we need to transpose. 3y is equal to copy positive negative 3 square root of 2 
plus 2, this will be our next step. We have 3 beside y. So we need to eliminate that. We need to divide by 3. So y now is equal to positive negative 3 divided by 3. That is 1. So the remaining in this part is the square root of 2. Okay. Let us solve one by one. So we will cancel 3 here. So the remaining is y is equal to positive negative 3 square root of 2 plus 2 all over 3. Next, y is equal to 3 divided by 3. That will give us 1. So, positive, negative, the remaining is square root of 2. And last, plus, this will be a fraction, 2 over 3. This will be our final answer. Again, 3 divided by 3. That is 1. We have 1 here. We don't need to write 1 because that is understood. Plus 2 over 3. Okay? Next question is... This problem. From okay, I will start with the basic one. Let's say you have x squared is equal to the square root of negative four. Okay, negative four. In our discussion, we have examples about perfect numbers, positive perfect numbers inside our square root. What if we have this negative? This time, we have the, what we call imaginary. Okay. Imaginary, we use the symbol I. Imaginary, Imaginary number, we're going to use this if we will encounter like this problem. Because the square root of negative 1, that is equal to the imaginary or i. So in this case, okay, I will remove the square root. x squared is equal to negative 4. In this case, we're going to extract the square root. So this will become square root of 4, the given problem earlier. Square root and x uh, squared will be cancelled out. So x is equal to square root of negative 4. Now let us factor negative 4. That is positive <laughs> negative, positive negative. Factors of negative 4 is 4 times negative 1. We need to write negative 1 because the equivalent of i is negative 1, square root of negative 1. Now our final answer is x is equal to positive negative square root of 4. 4 is a perfect square number and the equivalent is 2. Now, we have a square root of negative 1, that is i. Okay. So, our final answer is positive negative 2 imaginary or 2i. 
Let's have this problem from from Sleepy Mango. Sleepy. Let's say x is equal to negative 2, passive negative, square root of negative 12, all over 2. I think this is the simplified solution for his quadratic formula. But let us try to simplify, or let us find, let us try the simplified answer in this case. So we know that this can be written as negative 2 all over 2 plus minus square root of negative 12 all over 2. We need to separate, but we have negative 2 as denominator. Now we have negative 2 divided by 2, that is negative 1, plus minus negative 12. So the factors of negative 12 is negative 4 times 3 over copy 2. Now we have negative 1. X is equal to negative 1. Just copy. Positive negative. Square root of negative 4. That is 2i. The one that we solved a while ago. 2i. Copy square root of 3 all over 2. Okay. So x is equal to negative 1, positive negative. 2 divided by 2, that is i, then copy square root of 3. Now our simplified and our final one. Okay, I think this is a critical content, the imaginary number. In order for you to master the imaginary number, let's have another example. So if you have x is equal to negative 5 plus minus square root of negative 18. So what will be the final answer? x is equal to negative 5, positive negative, this imaginary is equal to negative 9 times 2. So x is equal to negative 5. Copy positive negative. Square root of negative 9. That is 3i square root of 9. Now I want you to try x is equal to negative 10. Positive negative. Square root of negative 32. Okay. X is equal to negative 10 plus minus square root of negative 32 all over 2. Try this and write your answer in our comment section. Please share to your classmate this problem, uh, how to simplify your...